Donald Trump's definitely not an advocate of helping the athletes, you know, get paid more. I know America needs a strong leader and the world needs a strong America. I know Donald J. Trump is the best choice for president of the United States. MMA is undeniably a sport where a lot of fans and fighters lean to the right on the political compass. But why is that? Why is Donald Trump seen as this tough, deal-making businessman who exudes masculinity to what we would consider some of the toughest people on earth? As far as the MMA community, the actual people that compete in it, the athletes, they, they definitely do sway to the right. You know, I see a lot of support for Donald Trump. And there's a reason why Dana is so supportive of Donald Trump. We spoke to Gray Maynard, former UFC star, about why this is and why Dana White supports Donald Trump so deeply. Yeah, I've, de I've definitely seen a shift in, you know, the masculinity part of it, like attaching your masculinity with who you're writing down a little vote for. That's not masculinity. That's just what you think your best interest is, right? The question is, what do Republican leaders like Donald Trump have to offer these athletes? Because what it seems like is that a lot of these fighters are swayed by the marketing and advertising that paint Donald Trump as a smart, strong man who leads. Greatest president in the history of the world sitting right there. I love that guy. We also got the greatest governor of all time here in Florida. Let's keep Florida free, or red state. A businessman who has the back of the working class, the average Joe, and by extension, these are the values of the Republican Party, right? But is this true? How do you identify masculinity with, you know, literally he was, he, he's hid behind lawyers. He's, he's born and raised with the golden spoon, gold, golden toilet under his ass, golden spoon in his mouth. Don't really know if he's done, you know, a hard day's work in his life. Most of his presidency was golfing. You know, there, there was so much golfing. And it's like, what? What? I get it. You need time to to process and, and tying in to masculine. You know, and, and Donald Trump is is an entertainer. He's he's a phenomenal entertainer. He he's really captured this fears, capturing people's curiosity of like the conspiracies and just really dialed in on all of those. He showed up for the fight on Saturday night and sat in the front row. Yeah, he's that guy. He shows up. So why does Dana White prop Donald Trump up so much at these events? The reason is simpler than you might expect. Influence and power. Well, the thing is with our fan base and our fighters, we're all very aligned in, in, in life and everything else. And it's not that it's any real um, political side. <laughs> We're for common sense. Ideologically, Trump wants to reach the viewers of the UFC, and Dana White wants to keep regulation out of MMA, especially regulation on fighter pay and fighters' rights. For example, the Muhammad Ali Act. There's a reason why Dana is so supportive of Donald Trump is when he did get elected in 2016, there was a group of guys that were supposed to be on the Congress floor to uh, propose the Muhammad Ali Act. And, and uh, right when he got into office, he kicked it off. And, and that's when Dana um, did an Instagram photo of uh, like him and Donald Trump in his office. That was like the day that he did it. You know, Donald Trump's definitely not for an advocate of helping the athletes you know, get paid more. Quickly, let me explain the Ali Act to you if you didn't understand it. The Muhammad Ali Act, which did pass in boxing and protects fighters right now in the sport of boxing, protects fighters by ensuring promoters are transparent about how much money the fighters are earning, stops promoters from locking fighters into unfair contracts, and prevents conflicts of interest between managers and promoters. It basically makes sure that fighters' rights and finances are better protected in the business side of boxing. This is what Gray is referring to. And potentially, Dana White would have a lot invested in not bringing this to MMA. So, it's clear why Dana White supported Donald Trump previously, but more fighters and lawyers are attempting to bring the Ali Act back into MMA. The UFC, the 
Dana White, he definitely gives a lot of money to Donald Trump for, you know, a return of being close to a person in very high power. Uh, he's already done a big favor to him by destroying the Muhammad Ali Act when there was a chance to to have it passed. And as we're getting closer to possibly getting it back again, if that vote goes that way, it could be destroyed again. And boxing is not a perfect sport, but, you know, there, there are definitely big paydays, you know, big paydays with that. And you're an independent contractor. Beyond the UFC, why does Donald Trump want to become president? And what has he done? to get the immunity and, and again, project 2025, you know, you look at that and that's just, it's scary as well. Like I have a daughter, right? I want her to not only have the right, but have the power to achieve anything she wants to, right? Anything. And if it's being the president, if it's being the president of a business or whatever it is, right? The opportunity. To do that. I am just in awe of, of what's happening and and why it's happening. You know, hopefully majority of this country kind of understands that whether he's what whether you believe he's he's not gonna do it or he already did it, you know, and that that is the part that we have to believe in, you know, is is what you actually see. <laughs> And, and here, you know, gotten into this, this misinformation and, and um, conspiracy stuff. And, you know, I get it. It's going to be out there. And a lot of this stuff started in 2016. So what is going on inside the Republican Party? And what has Donald Trump enabled within its ranks? That's, that's what, what has really been a turnoff with me with, with, political stuff now is it's turned into a reality TV show. You look at these people who are holding office, just spouting off the most insane stuff. Like, like I'll name some like Marjorie Taylor Greene. Marjorie Taylor Greene, among many other people in the Republican Party and especially the MAGA movement, genuinely believe in a weather conspiracy that the government and Democrats can control the weather to attack Republican-dominated states like Florida and Texas. This is patently false and laughable that adults and holders of U.S. public office are spreading such insane ideas in 2024. We do not control the weather like hurricanes, and this is stupid. Anyone who believes that we are causing hurricanes to hit Florida to hurt conservative voters is unwell. Lauren Bober. Maybe we need to have some sort of legislation that requires Constitution Alive and biblical citizenship training in our schools, uh, and, and that's how we get things turned around. Uh, but there, there has to be real leadership from the Republicans, especially. Now. Laura Loomer doesn't hold office, but it's like she's in direct contact with a presidential candidate. But Gray is not a hard left-wing guy. He's a middle-of-the-road, working-class husband and father living in Michigan. But he is worried for various reasons due to the vitriol and hatred and just plain absurd things coming out of this faction of the Republican Party. I am deeply concerned about the Republican Party because I like having a Republican Party. I like having a Democrat Party. I like, I think it should be pretty even across the board, but this MAGA movement is, is insane. In Springfield... They're eating the dogs, the people that came in. They're eating the cats. They're eating, they're eating the pets of the people that live there. And this is what's happening in our country. I really feel like politics needs to be boring again. And it needs to be people that are staying off Twitter and getting to their jobs and doing their jobs, right? We really need people that... You look at uh, you look at the House, you look at the Senate and stuff, and it's it's comes from all over the country. People, you know, and there 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 are the views that that go really right and go really left, but majority we need to be really electing people that that come with a little bit of centralized left leaning, right leaning, you know, and letting them work to get stuff done, right? Being able to converse and 
being able to work diligently on, you know, wh what the people need and want. I want adults back in these positions. We brought up the weather conspiracy theory pushed by people like U.S. politician Majorie Taylor Greene, a deep member of the MAGA movement, but there's a broader movement of anti-intellectualism within the party as a whole, and especially MAGA, leading to such insane ideas as aforementioned weather-controlling Democrats. The education system is seen and portrayed as bad. Universities are seen as communist because professors lean heavily left. But politics is not a business. There are laws, rules, and general institutional understanding that a lot of these people do not have. Maybe I'm putting my f my foot in my mouth, but you know, I want a little bit of education on politics as well, you know, behind each of these people. You know, if you want to be a politician, you know, you you should have a little bit of schooling in politics. Yes, yes. And I understand that doesn't work always, but there's got to be some type of intellectual processes that go into these decisions. A decent part of, you know, like our politicians that I don't think there's a lot of thought going behind what what there's what there's trying to bring across to the public. There's not a lot of th thought process going into what they're, they're bringing to the table with Congress. At the end of the day, who is this former UFC fighter voting for? Yeah, I got to say Kamala Harris. Just, um, you, you know, I kind of like Tim Walt. The, the biggest portion of why is I just don't understand how this isn't you know, like a bigger deal. January 6th, 100%, without a doubt, killed my vote, swayed my vote to go completely the other way with, with Donald Trump. I don't care about his policies. I don't care if they're the greatest policies in the world. You know, we have a country that is free and fair, to fair elections and the electoral process needs to be smooth and that's our democracy that's that's our will of the people right is is being able to do that and there was absolutely no basis for fraud on the voting there was you know case after case after case got got thrown out with that i don't know why people aren't believing that you know at the end of the day Mike Pence, you know, he he came to the rescue of the the US, you know, and did something that that a lot of them didn't want him to do, you know, including Donald Trump. And that's scary, right? That is absolutely without a doubt insane. And for people to take that this lightly is is even more scary and insane. Do your own research, educate yourself on the political system and the candidates involved, but at no point should you let yourself get deluded by the marketing that Donald Trump is pro-fighter, that he and the MAGA Republicans are pro-working class people, and for increasing workers' rights, especially fighters' rights in this instance. It's not true. Don't expect him to do anything that's going to help fighters, create a fighters' union, help workers in general— and the average Joe in this regard, because he's not pro-working rights, he's pro-big corporation. The fighters are the workers, and the UFC is the big corporation, and they will do anything to stop a union, to collectively bargain, and create a better working condition for these people who literally get brain damage for your entertainment. And anyone who says, oh, they signed the contract, they know what they were signing up for, please comment below so that we can make fun of you. This is stupid, and you should feel stupid for thinking things like that.